Yes, that's really a harpsichord. It's a video for the little dot. I think they make amps. G Y F U. G Y F U. I don't understand. Something good for you or something like that. There's the magnet. You can see the pole piece. It's at an angle. It's kind of coming out this way. It's got like a veneer on the back. It looks quite nice. It's made out of real wood. The build quality seems decent. This here's what we're here for. You've got a 50 millimeter driver and on the center of that you've got a little 8 millimeter driver which is a good visual display of the size difference between something like that IE900 right there which has I think a 7 or 9 millimeter driver which is approximately the same size as that. So IEM driver set right in the middle of a headphone driver. Like there's a size comparison. And, but looking at that and thinking about it when I opened up the box I thought this is not going to turn out well and yet I'm doing a video I'll try to be quick about it I'll do another video later and get into more detail I expected this to go wrong and it didn't I'll tell you what I like and I don't like the first thing I listened to was Blind Faith Can't Find My Way Home which would be where are we okay right here I'm listening to Ginger Baker. I'm trying to be specific as I can, as quick as I can. Ginger Baker is a very famous drummer. He used to do drum battles with jazz drummers. He made albums that were battle, drum battle albums. That the, the guy was a maniac. There's a video about him on YouTube. It's a, like a life story, but before he died, rest in peace. You ought to check it out. 27 and 38 of Can't Find My Way Home are two significant cymbal strikes. And when I looked at the picture of that driver, I thought, there's where that's going to go wrong. Just check it out right away. Listen to that. Listen to the hi-hat opening and closing while I'm waiting for the 27 and 38. And I thought, this whole thing actually sounds nice. Where is, where is that little driver doing its thing? Because I couldn't pick it out with my ear. I thought stuff sounded uh, slightly polite, which was really against what my expectation was. Because what the hell is this doing? This should be putting a spike or something somewhere in the treble. N no, actually. I graphed it because I was so intrigued. I, graphing headphones is harder for me because I gotta set up a rig and it's really ghetto right now. I can do it accurately, but it's not an easy thing because I take the same. Anyway, I'll get to that another day. The sub bass, the mid bass, and the mids on this are pretty much for a dynamic driver ideal. Pretty much for a planar ideal. The sub bass is slightly bumped up over the mid bass and the mid bass goes right into the mids. That means that four string bass guitars, drums, Mm, vocals are probably going to sound pretty natural. The only, what do I like about this thing? It takes drums and bass guitars and basically all of my library and plays it very well. It's a unique replay compared to the Hi Fi Man Susvara and the HE6 SEV2. It's not, it's laid back like a Meze Empyrean, but it's much more affordable, though it's not cheap in its own right. And it's still got kind of accuracy. That's a planar and this is a dynamic driver, but. The planar dynamic drivers like with IEMs have a kind of a authenticity to them and this little IEM in the middle is not really taking away from that. So this tuning with my library offsets my existing sets like the Susfire and the HE6SE which are a little bit more um, energetic is a good way to put it. But I like that but I listen to it for less amount of time. This would be a set that I would recommend for a B option because it's something that you could lay on the sofa and just listen for hours because the area between 3 and 8 kilohertz is not. Be careful when you look at this. This is the mid and the mid elevation and this is the upper mid to treble. They're almost the same elevation as the mids. It's not a drastic, it's not a 6 dB drop relative to the mids. It's a slight drop but it's a little bit unique to the tuning of common upper mid and treble tuning but it's not impacting the cymbal strikes, the hi-hat opening, guitar solos in a negative way that is unnatural. It sounds slightly toned down, but it doesn't sound bad or off. Like my brain would kick in and then I just wouldn't be okay with it because OCD. Like that's not cool. I don't like that. I don't need that in my life. I listened to this and thought, I actually like this. This is something I don't have in my collection right now, but I would kind of like to have it in my collection because I'm looking at a visual that doesn't have a spike, doesn't have a giant crevasse, and it's playing back my library in a way that I find appealing and unique to all the other sets in my possession. So I'll do a video for it and then I'll do some comparisons maybe later on but first impressions, first listening, 
love the low frequency instruments, love the vocals, note the difference in the replay of guitar solos, um, and also the way Neil Young, Ozzy Osbourne, Robert Plant, and vocalists are treated, but I find it kind of appealing because it's a little bit more kind of like a monitor in a way, but still accurate. It feels like I'm kind of monitoring the group, but I, I kind of dig that. So I'm doing the video. I tried to be as quick as possible. Love the low frequency. There's nothing I don't love about it, actually, except the price because Little Dot makes amps if it's the same company and their first headphone is going to be 500 bucks. Uh, and then you're putting a little... Uh, I don't know. I'm, what the hell is the little driver doing? I, I have no idea. One question I want to ask for headphone people is Bach Concerto Italiano oh, with a harpsichord. What headphone does this well? Because this has slightly subdued upper harmonics and yet it's too, this is too intense for headphones. I've never found stuff like this, classical music in general, to be good on anything except floor speakers. I've never found headphones that I thought classical. I like Vivaldi, I like Verdi, two Italians, Tchaikovsky, I like waltzes. I listened to that when I was a college student because stuff with lyrics is distracting. Music only is fine, I can study with that. But I never found personal audio, IEM or headphones to do that. I do think speakers do that. So harpsichord is good on what headphone? Please let me know. Because even a set like this with slightly subdued upper treble, it's too much. That's it. I'm out. Very intriguing set. Keep your ears open and eyes open when other people do reviews for it. Ask them to listen to specific songs and tell them what you think. I think it's a unique replay and I find it to be appealing for my library. My library. Black Sabbath, Blind Faith, Bob Marley and all of the stuff that you guys see me talk about all the time. Sultans of Swing sounded particularly good on this set, and I'm getting close to my time limit, so I am out. Coming from Queens. Coming, coming, coming.